But here they are. Um, there's one. There's the second one. I've got a 5 volt fan attached to it, as you can see here. I'll show show you. 5 volt fan, so it's a plus 5 plus the ground, which is in the black on the left, and then the red is going to the plus 5. This is a 5 volt fan. Um, I am just heating it up right now. Takes a while because there's a big mass here of heat, so I'm just going to kind of fake it here because you see the that big block there it takes a while for it to heat up but once it heats up that's a thermal battery so that thermal battery holds the heat in really well and feeds the modules now it's going to take a minute or so to get this up because i need a lot of heat and this little blowtorch doesn't really produce that much heat and i'm not sure how much gas i got left in my propane tank either That light should come on fairly soon. There's the light. So that tells you it's getting power. Now that fan should start uh, fairly soon. It takes 5 volts to start that fan. There's the light. So you know she's getting power and it takes a while for that voltage to get up. Because like I said, there's a lot of mass here that we have to heat up to get to the modules, which are sandwiched between this mass and that uh, cold sink. There's the fan starting right there. There you go. There's your fan. That's a 5-volt fan. So that shows you it works. We got two of them for your test. I think it'll work really well for your application, especially this plate being in the, the area where the heat is being distributed. You should get a lot of flux through and it should be really good grade power for your fan to operate. Now I'm gonna turn this off. Now this fan As you can see, it's only one amp, or, or, or one watt, I should say, sorry. So you should be able to put a five watt fan and get significantly more airflow from the unit. So now you see it, we've, we've taken the heat off, the unit's still operating because there's a huge amount of thermal energy that's stored in that battery, in that block. So that's the beauty of the tech is that you basically, by the mass, you create a thermal battery which keeps the fan going well past the heat. Now I may be able to put a 12 volt on there and run it at a lot higher speed, but that's only a one watt fan. So here you go, that's actually a 12 watt fan. And that's running off. I just, I, I haven't used any heat. This is just the latent heat that's left over in the block. So as you can see, this is, um, this is the ground and the battery, the ground, the, the battery charger circuit. And that runs a 12 volt as well. And that's just from the heat that's still latent. So you can see the power of this unit. Once it's heat, once that mass is heated up, it works extremely well. And obviously the water is still cold. Um, but there you go. That gives you an idea of how the system works. Uh, we have two of them here. I think you'll find the work really well. They're very consistent in their output. And there's your power. Did you, uh, did you see him? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, like... Okay, I'm going to upload this and then send it to you, okay? Thanks. Hope you like it. Bye.